watch it. Our first interview will be with a journalist turned filmmaker, Adiola Agoro, who is set to premiere her new movie, Ogikiola, The Fisherman. And, uh, on August the 2nd, 2024, she joins us live from our Abuja studio. Thank you very much for joining us at this point. Uh, why, did, why are you doing this movie? Why is this movie coming out at this point? What's the mindset re as regards um, Okikiola, the fisherman? Um, let me just tell you how the idea started. I went to a river and Rhine area in um, Lagos State, Isheri Olofi, to be precise. I saw canals, I saw people, fishermen, and um, I looked at it that what if I wove a story of love around this community, the fishing community? And the whole story came together, and I came up with what we know today as Okikiola, the fisherman. Mm. Okay, also you had spoken of the fact that it's um, a legacy of promoting the Oshun culture. Yeah, it's not only the Oshun culture, it's the Yoruba culture generally. And Oshun forms a part of the Yoruba culture. Um, the traditions, the customs we met. The customs we... I won't say these traditions and customs are going into extinction, but it's a way of bringing us back to where we are coming from and um, what it means in our lives. For instance, many people don't know that the fishing business is governed by the Yemoja. The Yemoja are the owners of the land. So when you talk of Oshu, the Oshu people are the custodians of the um, river. So there's no fisherman that can really survive without paying obedience to um, the Oshu culture. So okay. Oshu, Yemoja, they are interwoven. So it's a way of promoting the culture of the Yoruba people. And as I said, Oshu forms a big part of it. All right, so we have seen situations where um, our movies are used, uh, promoted in cinemas, uh, cultural movies, of course. We've seen um, a lot of Yoruba, um, well, uh, let me use the word Yoruba movies, um, churn out big, big money movies, of course, make some, a lot of money in the cinemas. What do you think of um, the fact that we're using the uh, movies to promote our culture? All over the world, uh, people use uh, movies to tell a story. You tell a story of love, of war, of culture, of tradition. So when we use our movies to tell the story of our culture and tradition, it's, it's interesting to those of us here, our children who don't even know much about our culture, you'd be surprised that a lot of Yoruba people associate Oshu with fetishness. Let me put it that way. They don't take it as this is part of us. This is, these are spirits of the river. Everybody abroad, they have psychics who tell you about spirits and all of that, and people consult them. But in Yoruba land, when you talk about Oshu, people, because of religion, they run away from it. So now we are putting out it out there that apart from, against all the stories we've heard in the past where people try to demonize our culture and our tradition, our tra cost customs, our traditions actually stay with us. They live with us. So we are telling a story that can be sold to the international community and to even those of us here so that we can understand who we are, our identity. What's, what, we have it in our DNA. Don't forget that. We can't sure. take away all these things from where we're coming from. It's in our DNA. It's in us. So we can use cinemas. We can use filmmaking to promote all these things and establish where we are coming from. The imprint. All right, so, all right, so quickly, for, for want of time, um, we might have to go soon. But um, one question I'd like to ask. You are promoting the movie on August the 2nd, 2024. Um, what should we expect? Yes. And it, it's, uh, well, for me, it's sad that you're not even bringing it to Lagos. Your are promoting it in Abuja. But it's, it's okay. Let our Abuja friends enjoy, enjoy that there. But August the 2nd, what should we expect? We expect a lot of people who identify with 
uh, what we are preaching, the story of love unity, because you find out that in the story, there is a lot of misconception about our identity, division about our language. This is where you are from. You are just living in Nishari Olofi. You don't really belong here. So it's a story that talks about unity, that talks about, uh, um, about working together as a people, irrespective of your religion or your beliefs. It's also a story of greed. How do we allow greed to come into our lives and spoil what we have placed on the ground? It's also a story of faith. So I expect that on the second, people are going to see a lot of beautiful people. For instance, um, the premier is in honor of the governor of my state, Oshun State. And um, you'll find out that Oshun, Oshun actually means to spring forth. All right. Spring forth. Oshun in, in Yoruba land means to spring forth. Oshun, Oshun. On Sunja Day, when it, when it gushes out, and it's only goodness that comes out from Oshun. So you see the governor of my state being celebrated for supporting the premiere of the movie. You see a lot of wonderful people, the chairman of the occasion, a beautiful, a gentleman. You see the father of the day, you see our special guest of honor, and people who are coming to learn right. about love, greed, deceit, and... Triumph. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Adela Agro, for talking to us at this point. And um, yes, we will have to watch the movie in cinemas. Of course, it's going to come to Lagos as well. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. Thank you so much. All right. 